Once upon a time, in the heart of West Africa, there was a kingdom so wealthy, its king was known as the richest man in history. This kingdom was Mali, and its king was Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa was not always a wealthy king. He inherited the throne from his predecessor, Abu Bakr II, who had set out on a voyage to explore the Atlantic Ocean and never returned. Mansa Musa ascended to the throne in 1312 and inherited a kingdom rich in gold, ivory, and salt, thanks to Mali's control of the trans-Saharan trade routes. Mansa Musa was a devout Muslim, and one of his most significant achievements was his pilgrimage to Mecca, known as the Hajj. In 1324, Mansa Musa set out on this journey, accompanied by thousands of soldiers, slaves, and servants, as well as camels carrying gold. The journey was long and arduous, crossing deserts and mountains, but Mansa Musa was determined to fulfill his religious duty. Along the way, he stopped in cities and towns, distributing gold to the poor and building mosques and schools. His generosity was legendary, and tales of his wealth spread far and wide. As Mansa Musa and his caravan made their way across the Sahara, they were greeted by curious onlookers and grateful recipients of his gifts. The caravan traveled for weeks, with Mansa Musa leading the way on his majestic camel, dressed in fine silk robes and surrounded by his entourage. Finally, after months of travel, Mansa Musa arrived in Mecca. He made a grand entrance, riding his camel through the streets, followed by his retinue and carrying bags of gold to distribute to the poor. The people of Mecca were astonished by the wealth and generosity of this African king, and his pilgrimage became the talk of the town. Mansa Musa spent several weeks in Mecca, performing the rituals of the Hajj and praying at the sacred sites. He gave away so much gold that the local economy was thrown into chaos, and the price of gold plummeted for years afterward. But Mansa Musa did not care about the economic consequences of his generosity. He was fulfilling his religious duty and spreading the wealth of his kingdom to those in need. Once Mansa Musa returned to Mali from his pilgrimage to Mecca, he was determined to use his wealth and newfound knowledge to improve his kingdom. He embarked on a series of ambitious projects aimed at promoting education, Islam, and culture throughout Mali. One of Mansa Musa's most significant achievements was the construction of mosques and schools. He commissioned the building of mosques in Timbuktu, Gao, and other cities, which became centers of Islamic learning and scholarship. These mosques attracted scholars, poets, and artists from across the Muslim world, making Mali a beacon of culture and enlightenment. Mansa Musa also established libraries and universities where scholars could study the Quran, Islamic law, astronomy, and other subjects. These institutions attracted students from far and wide, further enhancing Mali's reputation as a center of learning. In addition to promoting education, Mansa Musa also worked to expand Mali's borders and influence. He launched several military campaigns, conquering cities and territories to the north and west of Mali. These conquests not only expanded Mali's wealth and resources, but also spread Islam to new regions. Mansa Musa's wealth and generosity were legendary, and he continued to distribute gold and gifts to the poor and needy throughout his kingdom. He also funded the construction of hospitals, where the sick could receive treatment free of charge. Under Mansa Musa's rule, Mali flourished as never before. Trade routes expanded, bringing goods and ideas from across Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. Timbuktu became a major trading hub, known for its markets and cultural exchanges. Mansa Musa ruled Mali for 25 years, until his death in 1337. His reign is remembered as a golden age in Mali's history, a time of prosperity, learning, and cultural exchange. His pilgrimage to Mecca remains one of the most famous in history, and his legacy lives on in the rich cultural heritage of West Africa.